Hey, fellas, there are a bunch of scary pills out there, a bunch of pills out there, period, and you need to know what the differences are. And I bring this up because I was working with a grandfather, he's 57 years old, new grandfather, and, you know, he still wanted to get his love life in, but he was taking so many pills, it was actually causing damage to his love life. Uh, and he didn't even realize that, but, you know, we were able to go through and, and take a look at what he was doing and start picking and pulling the right things out of his uh, supplement routine and putting in the right things. But you need to understand the framework for it so that you can get uh, an idea how to do it. And that's what I'm going to break down right now because, you know, that's what we do for our coaching class. I want you to get this information too. And by the way, my name is Brian, a.k.a. Uncle B. I'm a men's performance coach with Goodwood. And of course, this is what we do here on this channel is get your sexual performance game up. And specifically today, I'm going to break down the different types of pills and supplements that are out there when it comes to ED and erections and things of that nature. And so we're going to be talking about the pharmaceuticals like the Blue Chews and the Hems. We're going to talk about uh, the man-made supplements like Nugenics. We're going to talk about the illegal ones. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're out there too and we're going to talk about the natural supplements the ones that you know are going to make a difference you know just naturally so how that all works together let's go ahead and break that down and oh by the way go ahead that like button that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to get some more of this information and of course if you want some personal coaching with me and my team go ahead and hit the link below so we can get you taken care of uh, a lot faster than normal <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about the pharmaceuticals because you know when we're talking about um the hems and the blue chews you have to understand that those are pharmaceuticals it just you can just get them online but men's pharmaceuticals for ed basically do the same things they just stop the blood from leaving out of the penis <laughs> so uh it's a chemical in your body that releases the blood so it leaves out of the penis it just stops that chemical from hap happening and it can leave you with a four-hour erection a lot of guys say oh that's a great thing no it's not no it's just painful it, it gets painful um so they do not treat the exact cause or the reason why which is the testosterone and low blood flow the two main things and you know some other things in there of course but you know with these pharmaceuticals they, they just do one thing they're fixing you they're not healing you and of course that means is eventually it'll stop working because you're still doing and having the same issues the underlying issues and testosterone placement therapy don't even get me started don't do that uh you're going to run into all types of problems you have to take for the rest of your life you may not be able to have kids etc cetera, etc cetera. don't do that one <laughs> you do not mess with your endocrine system so but you know when we talk about hymns and the blue chews and you know viagra and cialis is slightly different they're all pharmaceutical pills even on the websites they'll say it does not cure erectile dysfunction or increase sexual desire yeah it does one thing <laughs> it just does one thing it doesn't heal so it's not natural of course you need a prescription for that and it's just for ed it's not for if you have unreliable erections it, that can just you know you're already good you just taking it and now you're going to create another problem later on don't do that so you know they're basically all the same and they're going to cause different issues so you can have anything from a headache heartburn uh diarrhea diarrhea <laughs> nausea flushing nosebleeds numbness burning tingling of the hands it's, it's way too much it's way too much, uh, so you want to stay away from that. Now let's talk about the the man made supplements. Those are just highly processed. They can have you know all these different ingredients, and they're like, okay, we're going to put this plant in there. Let's say like Tonga Ali, which is great for infertility, it really relieves stress and things like that. But they'll just dust it in there, so it's just a piece, a sm very small amount, because it's a it's a pill. You got a very small amount in there, and so a lot of natural pills have artificial ingredients that are going on there. So you know it's like they have fillers, they have the dyes. Uh, herbs are typically, you know, brown. They're not typically white. But if you break that pill and you're like, oh, it's a powder. Yeah, yeah, that's not natural. Um, and a lot of them just knew. They just created this product, you know, within the last 20 years. And so you compare that to, you know, uh, a product that's been here forever. And, you know, they actually add in different vitamins, which also make it man-made. So if you, and, uh, you know, trace minerals like zinc and magnesium, yeah, that's not occurring in nature. You have to actually process it to put it into a pill. It has its value, but you have to understand what you're taking. So uh, when we look at the natural products, though, if we look at a good wood advance or a good wood, we're talking about products that are as close to nature as possible. That's the whole idea. We're talking 
talking about herbs, which are uh, anywhere from seeds to barks to leaves to you know anything in between when it comes to just being herbs. It's directed for your body. It's supposed to heal a bunch of things at the same time. So you want to get as close to nature as possible. Um, and so we're talking about powders, pills, and the tinctures. Um, tinctures, good wood advances, and good wood uh, tinctures. They actually, you put that into your body, it gets into your body faster because you strain the, the powder with alcohol to get the essence of the herb. So that's how that works. Uh, your body is better tolerated for natural products, of course. Um, they were here before the pills were. And not everything is for everybody. I get that. You want to make sure you get the right source for your natural products. That makes a lot of sense. But one of the things that's sort of funny to me is the arrogance of the pharmaceutical companies. They'll sit there and say, oh, we, we haven't done a study on this. We haven't done a long enough study. You know, comparing that herb that's been around for thousands of years to the one we just invented, uh, that new chemical we invented 20 years ago. Yeah, we got a question a thousand years. <laughs> one, um, it has to do to run through the same test as our new dangerous one we just made up last week. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, so when they say they haven't done a study on it, it's because they didn't need to do a study of it. It's already been proven to work. Nobody needs your study. We, we, we know basically you eat an apple is good for you. That's the way that works. So it's sort of just funny to me. Um, but let's get into the illegal ones. And a lot of times you'll find these, unfortunately, in the gas stations and you know places that you think is reputable. But the problem is that a lot of these illegal products have you know you go to the fda's website and you can see the names of the products and they're still in the grocery store because you know the fda will say hey this isn't good for you but they're not enforcing it and so the issue is that they contain you know fake medicine so the still still dinafil so dinafil um that is in the blue chews viagra etc yeah you don't know how much they put in there how they made it and you know in what amount so you don't know what you're taking so i actually had a honey pack someone was like oh yeah this is supposed to help you and i was like that's confusing because honey actually you know well sugar period just lowers your uh your testosterone levels for a short period of time depending on where you are but it's like why would something that's sugary actually help your erections when that goes against your testosterone it's a it's a big question and it's like well here's the answer well it has a whole bunch of drugs in it <laughs> so i mean i tasted it before it was like it's like i'm tasting medicine i mean they put it in honey because it hides the taste of it because it tastes like medicine so stay away from that um and so what you want you know me personally of course i'm going to say you want something as close to nature as possible you know the reason why we recommend good wood and good wood advanced is because they have several herbs in there eight different herbs in good wood nine different herbs and good with advanced the extra herb is to help older men the reason why we have so many different herbs is so they can blend together and do several things at the same time but it's the actual herb it's not a synthesized version of the herb that you end up with and basically supplements the the pill type supplements so the idea guys just like uh a client there you don't want to get onto a whole bunch of pills <laughs> we were able to figure out what he needed to back off of and what things he needed because the goal is to you know, is to have a natural unprocessed solution as close as you want because you don't want another pill, you want the result. The idea isn't to stack up on the pills, the idea is to not have this problem anymore. And you know, that is the reason why we do coaching. That is the reason. We always say you have to supplement the supplement. And so if you want that coaching, link down below. Question of the day, how many pills do you take a day? You know, we're talking about your supplements and your pharmaceuticals. How many you, you take a day? I've heard people say, you know, as you get older, some people up to like 20 to 30 drugs. I know my grandmother's on 20. So that was like insane. Don't do that. <laughs> so, hey, this is Uncle B saying, um, yeah, what you want to do is pick the right supplement for you. That's the framework right there. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. Otherwise, get your game up and go hard. Peace out.